Hero, they call me. Hey, let's play. Welcome back to more Yakuza 4. What's your boy here to call me? So we go back in time one more time. Well, I should say one more. I think we got another guy after this, but playing as a new character now. As we see a very young Goro Majima. Mind tell me why you dragged me all the way out here? <laughs> ah, your contact has gotten much better since I last saw you. Here you've been hard at work. Now I see why Shimona san has taken an interest in you. So you're gonna tell me what this is about or uh, not Shibata Han? They're all dressed up today. Going to a funeral? Nah, nothing like that. Come to think of it, Sasuke's boy Sajima was in the, uh, his finest this morning too. And what if he was? My mic there. I'll skip right to the point. Oh, give me a second here. The Yoshiro Una hits going down today, but you're not going to be there, Majima. I gotta turn down the volume on this. Limiter, oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit loud than it's used to. You and Sajima planned to ambush the Uno today at a ramen joint on a route home from prison. Is that correct? Well, there's been a slight change of plans, you know how it is. The hell are you talking about? Patriarch Dojima doesn't think it's in our best interest to stamp out the Yuno Sewa client just yet. What? Why? No need to get excited. The Dojima family is simply asking you to follow orders. Come on, Shibata Han. Give me a reason here. The hit on Yushoro Uno was the Dojima family idea originally. It began as a bid to expand their turf here in the city. They left its execution to the Sase family. This much you already know, yes? Yeah, that's why it's me from the Dojima family, Saije on loan from the Patriarch Sase's place. That's right. But doesn't this whole scenario seem more than a little strange to you? What do you mean? How'd the Tojo find out? How did they learn that you know would be heading straight from a ramen shop immediately after his release? Let me ask you this. After being locked away for two years, were Chairman's first meal be noodles? You know, Seiwa clan ought to be throwing a lavish celebration in honor of his release. Yeah, but... The whole thing stinks. It's like the entire thing was planned by a traitor in the chairman Yuno's ranks. A traitor? It's a tiny cramped noodle shop at the edge of town. Are the topic head straight from prison to a spot that practically begs for an ambush? So why is he then? I suspect the scenario was offered uh, by two, well, one from the Unasewa clan and another from the Tojo. There you go. Two of them? Yes, symbol on the inside to leak Yuno's plans. Another to pass the news along to us. In other words, one traitor in the Unasewa clan and the one traitor from the Tojo clan. We know who they are? The Tojo clan trader? Yes. Hideki Sase. Oh, fuck. He's the one who pr procured the tip, and his man, Taiji Shizima, is on his way to perform the hit. The Sase family patriarch received the info, so... Sajima's boss? Sase-san? Sase has ties to the Unoseva clan. He told the Tojo clan where uh, Yuno would be and urged the brass to authorize a hit. But why? To start a war. What? Sasuke created a reason for the Tojo to strike the Yuno Seiwa clan hard. What better way is there than to anger the Yuno Seiwa clan enough to declare war? What's he stand to gain out of all this? Good question. 
All I know is Yuna's death that would give us clan and apple enough reason to declare war on us. After all, though I've been the Toja clan that struck the first blow. Or does Sase will work with the Yuna Sewa traders to contain the situation? By playing Peacemaker, he'll be on his way to becoming a top figure in the Tojo clan. Makes sense? So you see, Majima, we can't have a Jojima family member like you getting mixed up in all of this. Join on, uh, join on this hit and you'll cause problems for Patriarch Dojima and for the Shimana-san. Fair enough. Majima-san? Are you even listening to me? My bro's already had it over. Do you expect me to just sit on my hands here? Majima-san. You saying I should uh, knife my boy in the back? Do nothing while he goes on a suicide mission? Please calm down. Majima's voice actor is so good. I'm going. You and your plan can suck it. I'm not leaving my only brother I've ever had to die. Majima-san, you won't make it out alive either. The flying fuck I care about that. Been ready to toss my life away ever since I swore my oath. Is that so? I guess I don't have a choice. Boys? This goon squad. I was hoping we could keep this peaceful. Shame. Shibata. Shibata. Make yourself nice and cozy. This will be your home for a while. Oh, poor Majima. <laughs> Fucking chained up and beaten. Man, you're a real beast. Up against all these guys? And you're still trying to play hero. Oof, that's gotta hurt. Gross. <laughs> You got a pair, I'll give you that. Makes sense they pick you for a hit. But listen. Boss only gave us two orders keeping you hold up in here. Making sure your ass didn't croak. Basically. I'm free to keep you in line, however I damn well please. Even if it's gotta get ugly. Like, say, if you end up losing an eye, or maybe even two. Now, say you're sorry. Cry like a little baby. Can't do that. What? I'm like, grovel to my boss or someone I respect. That's some fucking piss ant. Oh, I love Majima. <laughs> I'm real sorry, but I think you know what happens next. Oh, this is brutal. I'd rather go blind and bow down to you, bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, if you say so. And... Ah! That's gotta fucking hurt. There's part three. Asoshi Tanimura. I probably butchered his name. This is chapter one. The Kamarucho Parasites. March 8th, 12 p.m. Oh, do I get to play as a cop? Answer me. Day of the murder. Where were you? Where were you? Uh, what were you doing at Sky Finance? If I could speak English. Got him prints all over the stiff chin. You ever hear of putting on gloves? 
Hey, jack off. You listen to what I'm saying? It looks like he belongs in a Resident Evil game. I asked you a question, damn it. Yes. Come on. Yeah, screw loose, kid. He's listening to You little... Oh. You got piping in there. Seriously? This looks like time for horse racing? They don't let you pull this shit over in community safety, do they? Yeah, let's not blow up over nothing. Now, are we done here? I have places to be. Oh, you're busy, huh? Listen up, Tanimura. What now? We've got a little tip for you. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. All you find is an early grave. Just like your old man. What the fuck you say about my father? What, looking at something? Nah, not really. Thanks for the pointer. Where are you going? On patrol, duh. Oops. That's what the community safety is all about, remember? Not sure where the safety comes in. Last I heard your patrols are nothing more than shaking down illegal businesses for hush money. Oh, my reputation precedes me. I'm out. Sketchy boy. Parasite. Tanimura-kun, wait! Tanimura-kun! Ooh, glad I caught you. Hey, what's up, Chief? Is that all you have to say? You went to a Majon parlor during your patrol yesterday? That's what's up. Hmm, I did? This is a joke. Please don't gamble while you're on duty. I should have to remind you. Okay, alright. Look, someone called in saying you took them for tens of thousands of yen. What do I say to that? Would you, who, who'd you say call that in? I didn't. I can only imagine what you'd do to the poor fellow if I did. Anyway, I think of the position you're putting me in here. What would I say to your father letting you run amok like this? I should mention I risked my neck pu uh, pulling you into the community safety. Have you ever considered that? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. At least make an effort to stay on track, alright? I don't know why they make like the typing noise when it doesn't type out. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> this becomes a nuisance. Find the informants! Alright. Okay, now to find her rad me out at the Forest Orchard Pla uh, Palace Magellan is a good place to start, yeah. Do I have, like, side missions or anything? Or is just, just, uh, is it just it? Alright, cool. Just to Magellan we go. Hopefully I don't have to play. Because that would be awful. Uh... Where's the entrance? Enter. There you go. Hello, old man. Excuse me. Oh, it's anymore. It's not here to play Magic on against today? No, not today. Can you tell me which members were here in the shop when I was playing yesterday? Hmm. Well, there was one person I wasn't familiar with. They were probably someone who came here for the first time yesterday. The other members were uh, those uh, two regulars who are playing over there. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Thanks. Very welcome. Did something happen? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, all right then. It's camera angle, though. Hey, you got a minute? Oh, Tanny Morrison's back to, to do some more damage. No, I'm here to find a snitch, and it better not be you. Snitch, what are you talking about? Save it. The chief said someone filed a complaint about it yesterday. Come on, Tanny Morrison. That wasn't the first time I lost a major chunk of change to you. If I was going to snitch, I would have done it a long time ago. Plus, I don't even know. Uh, don't even want to know what you do to me if I did. Right? For sure. You can always earn back the cash you rolled me for. The damage you would probably be a lot more permanent. You got that right. Oh, but what about the other guy at the table? I wouldn't be surprised if he did it. Yeah, he seemed like he was hurting for money, but he was hurting even more after you dropped him and uh, steamrolled us. Uh, so where is he now? Oh, he's, uh, wait a second. What? Hey, Morrison, tell me if I'm wrong, but this isn't official police business, is it? So why should I, we give away this information for free? Hey, you're right. This is a perfect chance to recoup some of our losses from yesterday. Ah, oh, come on, guys. Oh, what's it gonna be? All right, fine. Name your price. I won't ask much. Like I said, I don't have a death wish. How about two silver plates? They give those out as prizes here, so that should be simple enough. Really want to stick it to me that bad, huh? Fine. Silver plates it is. Eee, thanks, officer. We just want to win something for once. I don't care how uh, how you get them. Easiest way is to win or buy enough Mahjong sticks and exchange them for prize counter, probably. Oh, I don't want to play Mahjong, dude. Oh, do I have the same inventory for all my people? I have no idea. Let me check. 
No, I don't. This boy just told me they sell fake silver plates in the shop next door. That's where I'm gonna go. Why wouldn't I use fake silver plates? What shop? I don't know. He just said the shop next door. It's not very helpful because there's a shit ton of places here. This shop. I'm assuming it's the pawn shop that he's talking about. We'll take a look. Examine this. What am I trying to examine? I have no idea what I'm examining this. Hello? Something here. Oh, there's a key. <laughs> okay. You got fake silver plates I could buy off you? By any chance? Because that'd be nice. Uh, I'm here to buy. Let's see. Pearls. Fake silver plate, 100 yen. Yeah, all right, buy two of those. Thank you. <laughs> see if we can get away with this. <laughs> Because I definitely don't want to play fucking Majon. That's for sure. All right, boys. Here you go. Hey, man, you got the silver plates? Yeah, I got them. Got them right here. Hey, wait a sec. These are total knockoffs. True, but for all intents and purposes, they're still silver plates. You never say anything about quality. Really? You're going to do me uh, dirty like that? And you call yourself a cop? Hey, I get, your, I get your plates. You tell me what you know. That's what our agreement was. You came up with it yourself. Man, you suck, but whatever. Should have known better than to try and pull one over you. Okay, so the other guy at the table yesterday, his name is uh, Lida? Was that what it said? Yeah, that's your guy. Can't say we know him that well, but we do see him around ever so often. You mentioned he didn't have a traditional job, per se, but he works at the Shifuku parking lot. Oh, the one over on Shifuku in uh, San, uh, San Rio? Yep, that's the one. Now, uh, I don't know uh, what he does over there, but he did say that's where he makes his Mahjong money, so I guess he must be doing something right. Okay, that's all I need to know. Oh, but be warned, he was super pissed after you left yesterday. He said you weren't going to get away with what you did and uh, other crazy stuff. Hey, he was kind of freaking out, honestly. He's a pretty big dude, too. We don't want to be in his way when he's mad. Anyways, that's pretty much much all we got on him. That's more than enough. Guess I'll swing by the Shifuku parking lot and pay our friend a little, uh, or Lita a little visit. Uh, see if he's the guy who narked on me. Yikes, sucks to be him. Anyways, come back again and give us another shot at you, yeah? It's only fair. Ah, uh, sure, happy to take your money anytime. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. Go to the parking lot. Alright, here's the big man himself. He's not that big, honestly, but whatever. Hey, you. What's this? Challenger? Finally, someone around here actually has some balls. I got my Mr. Try and Hit Me. The job is the name I figured this is what it was going to be. Uh, under a minute, you'll get 50,000 and it only costs three grand to play. I want to give it a shot? Hell no. Do I not look familiar to you? Oh shit, you're the Majon monster. Bingo. Now look, I have some questions for you. I got a few moments? Nope. Don't know nothing. Definitely didn't rat you out to your superior officer either, so why don't you scurry on back to, uh, to Donut Patrol? Not very bright, are you? But thanks for saving us both the time. Now that's the part where I teach you a lesson for being such a sore loser. Haha, <laughs> go ahead and try. I can't touch this baby. You gotta be kidding me. Ain't no joke, Jackass. They used to call me the Artful Dodger back in the day because my footwork alone was a masterpiece. So get ready, because for the very first time in commercial history, Mr. Try and Hit Me is going to try and hit you. This is going to be some groundbreaking shit right here. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll be handing your ass in under a minute. You think you're hot shit, huh? All right, then. Game on. Remember, like, last time when we did this in the last game where I hit him, like, at the first punch? That was funny as fuck. This seems to just be an actual fight, so... All right. Why would I want to parry? LB against an enemy to attack... An enemy attack to parry. That's a challenge, so... I'm gonna get up. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a shit about a challenge. I just want to win. You want to clear all the tutorial challenges? Quit anyways and continue with the story? Yeah, why not? I don't need no tutorials. Figure it out on my own, so... What was that laugh? Shit. How about it then? I want to try again? Sorry for riding you out. I won't do it again. Damn right you won't. Why'd you do it to me in the first place? Well, it's like this. I've been living as Mr. Try and Hit Me for years here in Kamurucho. But there's this one scary looking guy in a gray suit who challenged me uh, to a fight every year. Every year I end up losing. Each time I train harder before fighting him again, but I can't seem to beat him. So I started playing Magic and take my mind off it, but I ended up getting hooked. Turns out I'm pretty damn good. But just when I started thinking Magic might be a good way to make a living, you had to come along and spoil the fun. I lost a shitload of money to you. So I was pretty pissed with that. Uh, with uh, what with the Mr. Try and Hit Me uh, thing and the Magic thing going to all to hell. So I picked up the phone and yeah. Anyways, I'm ready to suffer the consequences. Do your worst. I don't care. Yeah, I'm over it. What? I'm saying you're free to go. After all, it's not like you're still left to get me. Besides, I got a few good punches, and let's just call it even. Oh, okay. Thanks, pal. Just watch it. Rat me out again, and you don't get off so easy. Yes, sir. I wouldn't dream of it. Right. Well, at least I got that. Uh, get out some work aggression. All right. Where the heck am I going now? To the strip club? Nope. Damn it. Incoming message from HQ. Report of a fighting at Theater Square. Officers in Sydney head to the scene of the crime. All right. Theater Square it is, I swear. Petty instance like this never end. Guess it's close by, I'll have a look. 
So I'm like a, a security guard, a traveling security guard. Sorry, shut up, bitch. You're, one of the, well, you're the one who started this, and now you just want to back out? You owe me money. All right, that's enough. I'll let this one slide if you disappear in quick, huh? Got a problem? Maybe I'll just kick your ass and collect what I deserve from you instead. Okay, wrong, wrong choice, but... Let's have some fun, Mr. Street Punk. You wanna throw a punch? No? Alright. Allow me then. Do I have grapple moves? Get up. There you go. I do. A little shuffle sidekick. Kick him in the head. Or punch him in the spine. That works too. Break someone's back. My hands are bloody as shit. Ah, Gug, you're no joke. Who the hell are you anyway? I'm Tanamura, a detective here in Kamarucho. Shit, fucking cops. Watch your mouth and get the hell out of here. Arresting punks like you is a waste of my time. Right, consider me gone. Thank you, you saved me. No worries, I was just passing by. I don't think too much of it. But you should watch your step from here on out. Yes, sir, I apologize for the trouble. I'll be more careful in the future. Poof, that takes care of that. Looks like you cleaned that up uh, quite nicely. Nice feather, dude. And you are? Oh, I apologize. I'm Akishi, here representing the Kamarucha Guard. Kamarucha Guard? Oh, the volunteer group doing community watch type thing? You know us well. It's nice to meet you, Tanner Morrison. Huh, how did you know my name? Working in the area has made me really knowledgeable about the local police, and boy, have I heard a lot about you. I'm almost certain it's nothing good. Anyways, nice work back there. You resolved the situation by being the first one on the scene to handle the things uh, exponentially. Just came by because I was in the area and heard about uh, it on my radio. Our group gives it, uh, get our group gives its all to maintain the peace here in Kamrucho. But with a pleasure, uh, district this big, even our combined efforts can't cover all the problems that arise, that's for sure. Plus, I'm not sure why, there's been some mysterious group trying to interfere with us lately. Nature of work requires we put ourselves in harm's way, but now we have people actively working against us. Our ranks are th uh, thinning, and that's not good at all. Which is why I have a favor to ask you. Would you mind lending us a hand? Huh? Keeping the peace is technically my job, but I don't think I can just up and join your group. We don't have to actually join, just help us out once in a while. Our goal is to resolve incidents like the one you just dealt with. We want to make Karma Choice safe for everyone. To do that, we need to uh, the assistance of police like you that know much more than we do about the area. We will use our funds to reward you, depending on how many incidents you are able to resolve. This isn't uh, easy for me to say, but we heard rumors you were financially in need pretty often. Anyways, we will pay you a fair amount for your services. Do we have a deal? Hmm. One thing bugs me. What is it? Well, you said you guys are volunteers, right? That's right. What's uh, this about funds I'm hearing, huh? Volunteer groups usually just barely scrape by. That is, unless you have some strong organization backing them. Well, if you can't say it, that's fine. I guess not like I have anything to lose. Thank you, Tanner Morrison. Come by and help whenever you have the time. We won't force you to do anything you won't want to do. All right. Only when I hear something on the radio and have some spare time. Really? Thank you very much. So I go to you for the reward money, yeah? Yes, I'm usually here at Theater Square. I contact me once you resolve a couple cases. You don't mind me collecting a bit on the side from people I help, right? I have no issues with that. Roger that. This is going to be such a big help. Thanks again. Well, as long as they're working for the benefit of Kamarucha, it won't hurt to help out. Information has been added to the memo. Okay, so that's like just like a random side thing. That I could do. Hello? Hey, Machan. I've run into a little problem here. Would you mind stopping by the restaurant? Okay, be right there. Thanks. See you in a bit. Zhao. I wonder what Zhao's got mixed up to now. The easiest way to Zhao's place, uh, Homeland, is to cut from the East Taihai Boulevard. Head to Homeland. Yeah, I get to go to Little China and whatnot. Little Asia, I think is what it's called. I can't remember. So I could speak all Asian languages. Probably didn't put that in the video, but it's true. Alright, here we are. Oi, oi. Like this camera angle is pretty cool. Just like watching from behind. Be so claustrophobic. Like the walls on walls on walls. Concrete jungle. I think they're purposely filming like this to be like a cop movie. Or whoever like directed these cutscenes or whatever, which I think is pretty cool. Oh. Hey, how's business? <sighs> Not again, Tani Morrison. Oh hell yeah! 
Always a pleasure. Twice now. I thought we had green once a month. Give me a break. A girl you just got in. She Korean? Exchange student, maybe? No one knows it's illegal for foreigners to work here without a proper visa. What you might not know is knowingly hiring them is a crime in itself. Getting caught will cost you three years. Well, either that or three mil. Just cut me some slack here. Remember, as you take advantage of these girls, knowing full well they can't run to the cops. Are we turning a blind eye to that? Nah, we can handle that later. For now, let me know if you ever see this woman. Who is she? Can't say. Police confidentially. Confidentially. <laughs> confidentially. <laughs> I can't speak English. Just call me if you see her. Shut up. <laughs> Bye now. Confidentiality. Got it. Ugh, Jesus. I'm tired today. It's only 1.51. I could use a nap. What's up, boys? There's my little match on. Oh, it's the cop man. What's up, big guy? Catch you tomorrow, okay? Alright. The cutscene heavy episode, eh? Oh, my chan. Hi, Zhao. Hi, Zhao hiding in the back? Yep. Park got deported. What about his kid? Got it. This boy drinking some beef eater. Yeah, that's fine. I'll t I'll talk to her. I'll take her then. Oops. Sure, don't worry. Are uh, they joining the ranks? Yeah, her dad just got sent back to Korea. What happened? Traffic accident happened a few days ago. Cops picked him uh, picked up. The cops picked him up and noticed he overstayed his visa. Tough break. Kid's only five too. No place for her to go but here. They should cover some of the expenses. Prize winnings, so let me guess, another shakedown. Honest, a bit of both. Really can't believe you sometimes. So I shouldn't be thanking you. Just don't do anything stupid. So he's kind of like Robin Hood, but like a shitty version. So what kept you today? I thought you'd be here earlier. This detective, uh, Suguchi-san, was grilling me back at the station ever since that shooting. Homicide's been up all up in my ass. Ah, police questioning police? That's ridiculous. Yeah, normally I wouldn't give a damn, but apparently this wasn't just a random punk killing another. It was like, significant enough to set the Tojo clan against itself. Although, uh, why, hom uh, why homicide cares so much about mob activity is beyond me. That's why uh, organized crime's for. Either way, we don't need another gang war in this city. Oh, and it's not just the, uh, the Tojo clan. I hear the Unasewa is involved. Unasewa? Wait, isn't that... Yeah, the same clan my dad was investigating after the uh, Yoshihiro uh, hit um, right around when he was murdered. I think it's connected somehow? Can't say. All I know is uh, Unasewa's clan's been quiet for 25 years, but now there's this shooting a week ago and suddenly they've gone into overdrive? Something's definitely up. Following this case could lead me to uh, someone who knows the truth about who killed my dad. You still looking for that woman? Yeah, Yasuka Sejima. Her brother Taija, uh, Taija uh, the one who carried out the hit on uh, you know. She's been missing ever since that went down. And you really think this uh, Yasuka Sejima knows why your father was killed? Maybe, maybe not. But the last thing written in his notebook was meet with Yasuka Sejima. That has to mean something. But she might even be the last person who saw him alive. Everything's connected somehow. This Tanimura? Yep, speaking. This is Park, the manager of Midori. 
Dory, all right, the Korean salon. What do you want? Can you come here as soon as possible? Why, the police raid in the place or something? No, nothing like that. It's about the woman you've been looking for. Someone who just uh, who looks just like her is here right now. Are you serious? That's why I'm calling. Hurry up before she leaves. Okay, be right there. Wouldn't she be like in her 40s now? Something wrong? I knew it. The killing set something in motion. Zhao Zan, I think I found her. Wait, the woman we were just talking about? I don't know if it's really her, but I've got no reason to doubt it. I see. Then I suggest you be careful. You think? I'm serious. You're telling me this woman shows up out of nowhere right as you know Seiwa make the biggest ruckus in 25 years? The timing's too perfect, so you're saying she's involved somehow. Well, we're about to find out, aren't you? Now go, find her before she disappears again, right? Off and running already, my chan? Yep, business as usual. You know how it is. Let us know if you need anything, okay? You know you're always welcome here. After all, we couldn't be called Homeland if it weren't your home away from home. That's sweet. May May Hua. Thank you. Hey, have access to a hideout. Here you can say yeah, blah, blah, blah. We know. We know how this thing works. The homeland. It's a good name for a restaurant. I wonder if the woman at Midori is the same I've been looking for. I wonder. All right, we'll make our way to Midori. Oh, we got some side missions here, which I can't avoid, so... What's up, boys? Two million yen in one week? That's impossible. We just have to trust him. He'll be back to return the money. When? A million years from now? His room is completely empty. Your friend took every, uh, took you for everything you're worth. What's going on here? Listen to this. This good for nothing fool just ruined our whole lives. They'll take our restaurant unless we get two million yen by the end of the week. Sorry, what? I don't get the full picture. My friends need some money, but he didn't have anything for collateral, so that's no reason to put a restaurant on the chopping block. Really, how much of an idiot are you? Could I say no to helping a friend in need? Help? The only help you've done is help ruin our business and destroy our livelihood. Oh, now what are we going to do? We work our, our, our hands to the bone for years to get this place, and now we're going to lose it over nothing? I'm sorry. Dude, I took for two million, huh? That's a lot of money. I don't even think Zhao San has that much tucked away. It's all the commotion. Oh, Zhao San, guess what happened to this guy? Just your wife says there's limits to what you can do for people. Can't you use some Asian uh, gateway funds? No way. We don't have two million lying around. Yeah, I figured as much. The only thing I think of is gambling, but two million is a dicey proposition. Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. I am. Now, Zhao Sun, do you know of any underground casino somewhere with really high stakes? This is Lee's doing, my chan. You don't have to go that far out of your way to help him. Well, couldn't help him uh, even if I wanted to with my salary, but there's nothing wrong with earning a quick buck at the tables, right? That's your decision that I won't complain. But I've been worried about you getting into gambling regardless of all the help you've given us. That's why I haven't told you. You've told me what? Here there's an underground casino called Rucho. People call it the Dragon Palace. Really? Do you know where it is? Only that it's somewhere on Park Boulevard. That's a, that's a start. I'll go look for it. Thank you. Yes, really, thank you. Don't worry about it. Besides, we're take, we're talking about gambling here. Uh, there's, there's a strong chance I'll lose, so don't get your hopes up yet. And if I do manage to win, that's all. Uh, that just means you have luck on your side, right? So you're wonderful. Well, I'll be back. I'm just going to go make two million yen. So the Dragon Palace is somewhere on Park Boulevard, huh? I should go have a look. Ah, here we go. This is the place. Hey, is this the Dragon Palace? Get out of here, kid. Yeah, beat it. Don't know nothing about no Dragon Palace. You sure about that? Oh, I'm sure. All right, wait a second, young man. Hmm. Who are you looking for? Uh, why are you looking for the Dragon Palace? I just have a few expenses I need to cover. Why do you ask? Thinking you could help me out. If you do, I'll show you into the Dragon Palace. You will? Come on, boss. You're not really going to show him, are you? That's a trade secret. Yeah, and besides, I don't like the look of this kid. Now, now, don't be like that. Besides, we do need a little help, don't we? Truth is, some customers ran off without paying their tabs. I'm sure a young fellow like you could catch them. Do you have any idea where they could be? I have their pictures and their descriptions right here. There's three of them. The first is a lawyer named Akun. Alright. He's a real fast runner. He slips away right when you think uh, you got him. He's uh, sometimes seen in the underground parking lot. The second is a surgeon named Kame. He may be a doctor, but he's an avid kickbox too. He even beat the hell out of our, our, our buddy Nori saw him the other day. Sometimes seen in the Champions District. The third person is Maria. She owns a high-end club. She uses her vast wealth to hire a group of tough-looking bodyguards. She always runs the, uh, She's always around the Millennial Tower, but we can't get anywhere near her. That only uh, gets us beaten to a pulp. Do you have any questions? Nope. I think I got it. Kun, Kamei, and Maria. Great. We'll be waiting for here for you. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to do some fucking Hitman shit. All right. I believe this is him. I'm not entirely sure. In the parking lot. Yeah, this must be a coon. Hey, your name is a coon, right? Hmm, and you are? You have a tab to settle at the palace, pal. Shit, you're from the Dragon Palace. I thought it was just a bunch of old dudes where they find you. Uh, if you want me to pay up, you're gonna have to catch me first. I'm the fastest lawyer in town. See ya, sucker. Alright. I will absolutely chase you. 
They really love this chase mechanic in this game. I don't know why, but they love it. Man, with a fucking bottle, dude. Here we get bottled? Ugly? There you go. Oh no, not today. Not today. Oh my god, it beat his ass. How's he still up? Grab another bottle here, this will get him down probably. Yep. See ya. <laughs> well, that was easy enough. Now come with me, big boy. Damn, I can't believe it. The last time I lost was when I was humiliated in high school 20 years ago. Well, whatever. You're gonna have to come with me. <laughs> well, whatever. I don't give a shit. That's one down. Hey, you got one. Keep up the good work. One down, two to go. All right, this other guy is in the champion's district. So we gotta go beat his ass. I believe this is him right here. Hello, sir. Hey, I think this is Kame. What? Who are you? How do you know me? From the Dragon Palace, it's time to pay your tab. Hmm, uh, I've had to beat down that old man just the other day. I guess I'll, he'll never learn. They don't call me Dr. Badass for nothing, you know? Guess you'll find out soon. That's a terrible name. Dr. No, it's not Kamarucha, man. It's Dr. Badass. Come on now. Thanks for coming out, Dr. Badass. So we hit our first level up off of you. Now we just gotta go get Maria. Uh, that was amazing. It doesn't make it so difficult. The boy just got off to getting his ass beat. Looking good, kid. You're almost there. One more to go, huh? All right, there's Maria right in front of the Millennium Tower with all their bodyguards. Go ahead and just beat their asses and get what we need. No, not the manhole. Maria. Yeah, that's Maria. Gosh, it's almost like she was, she wants people to notice her. You Maria, son? Hmm, who's this little boy? Freeze, motherfucker. Oh, you can let him be. He's actually kind of cute. He, so, can I help you out with something? You don't seem like such a bad guy. You need to pay your tab at the Dragon Palace. Oh, that's why you're here. Well, too bad. Uh, why don't we just forget about that little matter and have ourselves some fun? And honestly, I probably wouldn't mind, but don't you think you should pay people what you owe? It's only fair. I suppose you certainly are a brave boy, so I guess there's no more room for negotiating. Guess not. In that case, I have no choice. Gentlemen, I want him out of my sights. Yeah, best of luck. I want your bodyguards out of my sights, if I'm being quite honest with you. So check this magic trick out. Kaboom! What a magic trick, eh? They all disappeared. Miracle. But you're just a boy. You're about to get uh, ready to give it up now. I thought he was going to be like, now you're going to find out that I'm a man. <laughs> Alright, amazing work, kid. You got them all. It's time for you to live up to your end of the bargain. Of course, and we prepared a little bonus for you as well. Here, take this to your friend who's stupid enough to put up his restaurant for collateral. There you go. Two million yen. How did you know about that? No one underestimated us just because we're homeless. We have eyes and ears across the whole city, apparently. Are you really sure about this? That's a lot of money. No worries. If those three ha had gotten away, we would have lost a great deal more. All right. I feel like I owe you uh, one now, but thank you very much. You're welcome at the palace anytime to you. Swing by sometime. Thanks. We'll do. And here's your money. Oh, went from $2 million to 59000 Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, you're, you're handsome and reliable. Perhaps I should just get rid of this loser here and marry you instead. Wow. Hey, haha. <laughs> well, thanks to you. I found a new place to come up uh, on some quick cash, so I say it worked out perfectly. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to tell you. You really saved our hides here. Please accept this for our gratitude. Explosive fishing. I thought it said fisting at first. Explosive fisting. Looks like we got a sub story inside of the. Hey, Machan, we have a customer waiting for you, yeah? Who is it? Filipino girl, she says she has a favor to ask you. Well, well you at least hear her out. All right, I'll head on over. What's up, girl? You're the person who needs some kind of favor? Oh, you're Tani Morris on. Yes, my friend talks about you. She says you're very kind. I wonder who that is. Anyways, tell me about yourself. I'm Faye, and I'm my hostess here at Kamarusha. Okay, and what is it you want? I want you to be my boyfriend. I'll do anything for you. Anything, so please be my boyfriend. Whoa, slow down there. What's all this boyfriend stuff about? You don't even know me. Does that mean you won't be my boyfriend? I don't know why you thought I would. Is there some kind of reason you're looking for a boyfriend so sad? Uh, well, if you were my boyfriend, I thought maybe you could save me. Save you from what? Is somebody after you? There was a man I was dating who did some terrible things, things that landed him in prison. But now he's back at Kamarucha, and the first thing he did was find me. He took all my money, which I need to send back home to the Philippines. I thought I'd never see him again, but he forced his way back into my life. That's why I need your help, Tani Morrison. Please be my boyfriend, even if it's just for today, and make uh, my old uh, old one go away. Let me get this straight. You're trying to ditch your loser of an ex, so you want me to pretend to be your man just so he'll get the message? Yes. I'd like you to talk to him and make him leave me alone. Please, just this once. Won't you be my boyfriend? Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Why not? 
Fine, I'll do it. Though I'm not quite sure how you want this to work. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me as for uh, how to go about this. First, I need you to, uh, to call your ex-boyfriend and invite him to the sh uh, shellac. Um, you and I will be waiting there. Shellac, that's in the Champions District. Okay, got it. Ah, that's just a relief. I'll meet you there, okay? Please don't forget to show up. I just don't show up. She gets the shit kicked out of her because of me. Well, I guess I better get over the shellac. This should be fun. Yeah. Can you just fast travel me there? Because that'd be great. There's Shellac. Let's uh, go on in. What's up, girl? Did I keep you waiting? No, I just got here. Thanks for coming, Tanner Morrison. Uh, so where's this man of yours? I just called him. He should be here soon. Fine. We'll just have to wait then. So what's this guy's name? Isawa. He was so nice when we first, uh, when I first came here to Japan. It wasn't long before he quit his job and he started taking all my money. I asked one of my customers if they could help me. He said yes. He even agreed to run away with me. When Isawa found out, he attacked the customer and hurt him pretty bad. He's been in prison ever since. Wow, sounds like a real nut. Uh, I mean, nice guy. And he gets so aggressive whenever he's upset, he's not even afraid to hit someone. Welcome, sir. This guy. This fucking loser. His mustache. So, up, This is the new jockey riding? He's my boyfriend, Asawa. His name's Tani Morrison. He's the guy she was dating. Look, Faye says she wants you out of her life, so I'm here to make sure that happens. Believe me, I'd rather not be here either. I don't remember asking you to talk. How about you stay out of my shit and go be someone else's asswipe? Now, Faye, is this true? After all the kindness I've shown you, all the love I've given you, you still want to dump me? Are you really going to be an ungrateful bitch right now? But you're always hitting me and spending wh what I earn on yourself. Tenny Morrison, on the other hand, is kind. He only thinks of what's good for me. Give me a fucking break. You like the smart-ass twig-looking dipshit? Fair enough. You obviously can't take no for an answer, so let's take a set aside. Well, damn, didn't know you had a sack between the scrawny-ass legs. Fine. Get the fuck out the door. This guy's going to get his shit kicked in. Usually. I would edit our fights, but for this guy, all right, you listen, you listen good. Face my girl. Oh, I know how to treat her like a lady she is, but you compared to me, you're jack shit and about to be dead meat. And big doubt. I wish it was a one shot punch, you know, for the fucking bitch man that this guy is. They're so good. If you just hit him once and he fell over and you start crying like a little bitch, punch him while he's on the ground. Just keep punching him while he's on the ground. There you go, he's beaten. <laughs> Just like that, he got his ass kicked. Gas please, you mother. And Morrison, are you okay? Are you hurt? You serious, Faye? You ain't just fucking with me? Are you really trying to do me dirty like this? Fine, I'll just step back and let you think about it. But don't forget that you'll never make it without me. You're nobody going nowhere in life. Oh, and enjoy your new prick. What a fucking scum lord. Are you okay? I am. Now this is over between Asawa and me. I can't thank you enough to any more Asan. Well, at least he's got some sense. Knocked him into uh, knocked into him, but it's fairly obvious that he's the type to hold the grudge. I should give you my number, so just just in case he comes back. Yes, please do that. That's very thoughtful, Tanya Morrison. Well, bang, okay. Well, I'm off. Hope your money makes it back home safely from now on. Yeah, so, and before I forget, I'd like to, you to have this. A cold pack. I guess this is goodbye. Maybe you can swing by my work sometime. Just a thought. Where do you work? <laughs> I never thought I'd feel so good to be single. On that note, I should get back to work myself. Uh huh? Someone's tailing me, huh? Instead of trying to shake him, why don't I lead him right into a trap? Someone's tailing me. The heck? Oh, it's him. Yeah, he's still in my ass. Maybe I can give him the slip here. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we want to ask me what's up. Damn it, the hell's this guy go? You again, hey buddy. I know you're following me, son of a. Oh, what? What do you? What do you know? You again? Damn right it's me. You think I'm gonna let some dickhead just walk away with my woman? Yeah, fucking right. So what? You came here to bitch and moan? Hardly. I'm getting Faye back after I send your ass to the grave. That's all there is to it. Oh yeah? Been through this before. See, Faye ran out on out of me with another dude. Let's just say I took care of that bastard. Should have done him in for good. So I brought a little something along to ensure that mistake doesn't happen again. Ever see a gun up close? Well, you're about to taste lead, motherfucker. All right, buddy. You do realize I'm a cop, right? Oh, he shot me. He's got some health this time, but don't worry about it. Because I'm not. Oh, that's right. I got a drop kick now. I forgot about that. As you can plainly see. Also got this move where I could fucking break his arm. And toss him around like a ragdoll, which is pretty cool. He's still a punk ass bitch, even with a gun. See ya. Oh my god. He, oh my god. He scorpioned himself. <laughs> Shit, I had a goddamn gun. How the hell could this happen? You, sir, are in violation of gun control law, and I'm placing you under arrest. Really, what kind of idiot brings a piece to a fist fight in Japan of all places? Goddamn, it wasn't supposed to go down like this. Hey, it's ain't over by a long shot. You mark my words. I thought I was gonna arrest him. What? 
Face mine, and I ain't letting nobody get their hands on her. Damn, face in danger. I have to catch him before it's too late. Am I chasing him? No, I thought I'd be chasing him. I assume uh, I gotta go somewhere to uh, continue that. Let me look it up real quick. It's Faye. Is there any more here? Help, help me. Faye, where are you? At work, you saw was here. Where is this place at? North Pink Street, it's a club called Purple Moon. Hey, who the hell are you talking to? Eek! Purple Moon, eh? All right. Well, this guy's a fucking nut job. Damn, was always already there. Okay, Purple Moon, North Pink Street. Be right there. There it is. Here it is. Purple Moon. I'm ready to do this. Yeah, man. Hurry inside. Let's go kick some ass again. Where is this nutcase? How do they just let, like, you don't got like fucking police? This guy just fucking whipping out his gun again, eh? Fucking nutcase. Oh, what am I gonna do here? Fucking stop motion? Slow motion, I mean? Stop motion. Ooh. Drop the gun. Wait. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go get him. The chase is on now, boys. I think. Which way did he go, George? You're not getting in the way. Yep, the chase is on. What about your gun? Just shoot him in the spine. That'll, that'll do it. That's fucking Jamoke. Yeet! Oh, get out of my way, chubs. Yeet! Oh, he changed the last second. Look at this. Look at launching stuff at me. Yeet! <laughs> oh! I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. Beat the fuck out of him! Alright. <laughs> I thought I hit the guy. Tackle him! Oh my god. I thought B was tackle. It's not. It's X. Right, are we gonna arrest him this time? Attempted murder? You know? Put him away for a long time? Of a cop? Pan, pan, pan. You're under arrest. You saw what? Now come on quietly. Screw you. I just want to be with Faye. That's all I ever wanted. Why'd you have to fuck it all up? You saw what? You're lost, man. Tanamora san. You shouldn't be out here, Faye. This isn't the, uh, the life I wanted for us. Never come near me again, understand? You stay away from me. So, whatever kind of feelings you have towards Faye, I doubt it's actual love. If it was, she wouldn't be terrified of having you around. Grr. There you go. Finally got him arrested, so that's a plus. Tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> Tell me why some jackass cop decided on a whim to go rip me up from the love of my life. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you little shit stain. Your boy looking badass. Ever loved a woman before? I'm guessing the answer is no. I mean, you clearly don't give a damn about Faye. You were pretending to be her boyfriend just to get at me, right? Haha, <laughs> what a stand up guy you are. Messing around with another man's girl just to feel better about your uh, lonely, fucked up life. Alright, pipe down. One more word out of you, and we all uh, add obstruction of justice, too. Uh, attempted murder of a cop. I think that's a little bit higher. It's over, Faye. I saw was more than likely headed back to prison, and I'll have some officers patrol the area for the time being. I don't know how to thank you. You've done so much for me. Maybe this will express how I feel. A chunk of wood. Thanks. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'll take it. Anyways, the boys need to get uh, some information from you back at the station, but I'll make sure they treat you good. Okay, I'll trust you, Tanner Morris. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? You really are a caring, honest person. Forget what Isawa said. Oh, nah, that kind of stuff doesn't phase me, but I appreciate it, Faye. Just thought I'd let you know. Well, so long. I'm just getting a cold pack and a chunk of wood. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, all right. Uh, so you don't know the first thing about me. I know who I am and what my heart is capable of, perhaps a little too well. Yeah, I wouldn't let Asawa's uh, words affect me. <laughs> Coming from a shit stain like that. Nah. All right, back on the main mission here. Let's see what we got going on over here. Hello, hello. Ah, it's you, sir. The lady you're looking for is inside. Okay, can you get her for me? Sure, I mean, I would, but uh, it's a bit complicated. What, is she busy or something? No, she's free. It's just uh, spit out already. Well, I, I realize I'm actually in a pretty awkward position here, but if, if this woman really is the one you're looking for, then, uh, did you maybe figure out a way to skip next month's inspection? A bunch of new workers from Korea just arrived, you see, and another raid would ruin us. Begging you, think of all the good I'm doing for these people. Uh-huh, then I guess it wouldn't kill you to uh, pay them, right? Huh? 
So you need to give these girls the money they deserve. Don't just skim off the top because you think it's no one's watching because someone is. Treat your workers with respect and make sure they earn a decent living. Do that and I'll see what I can do about the inspections. Maybe we can even be civil. Understood. I'll, it'll happen just as you said. You have my word. Okay then, let's see who you found. Will it actually be the person we need? Any minute now. What's up, girl? Um, the manager said you wanted to see me about something? Incredible. Some people are hardly changed, even after 25 years. Excuse me? They're looking for you for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, Suka Sajima, right? Huh? There's something you need to know about a shooting in 1985. Something only you can tell me. Uh, I don't know anything about a shooting. Hey, don't be so tense. You can trust me. I'm a cop. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help. Ah, I told you, I don't know anything. Whoa, what's wrong? I'm one of the good guys here. Yee! We finally got you, you little hussy. You're a Shabbatist man. Probably his bottom run goon is by the look of it. Well, you ditched the money grub for this dickhead? Not that I give a rat's ass. You still owe our boss a visit. Now you're coming with us. We wasted too much time on you already. Sorry, but the lady and I have business to discuss, so why don't you buzz off? You think uh, we take orders from you? Should have watched that mouth, pretty boy, because it's about to get swollen shut. Ah, shit bata family. Let's go. Rock and roll, eh? I think I have, like, actual finishers now, which is nice. Let's kick this big boy in the dick. Iguchi-san. There you go. Curb stomp. Big boy down. That was a terrible punch. Should have different grapples, too, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. I thought I did. I thought I bought some, but I guess not. Maybe it's on the throwback of the, uh... The arm twist, like this. No, it's the same thing. Okay, whatever. Dropkick! Oh, I missed. Embarrassing. Pretend, pretend that didn't happen. Pretend I didn't miss that dropkick, please. Jeez, what a waste of time. I'm assuming she ran away. The heck, she's gone. Yeah, no shit. Hey, you people took her somewhere, didn't you? Ah, uh, what do you care? She's probably popping bottles with the boss right now, or popping his bottle, perhaps. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Stop feeding me the bullshit and tell me where she is. Hey, 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 fine guess. We uh, bought them enough time. They're probably at the Tokyo Bay docks by now. Really? I wonder what they're doing there to her. Uh, nothing good. Nothing knowing the boss. Damn it. All right. I need to get to the docks right away. I better catch a cab. Find Yasuko. All right, let's go get a cab. We got another side mission? What the heck? Just the one, hopefully? Yeah, just the one. I hate this music! God, it's so bad. Is it you? I'm such a patrol. We gotta the business here. No, it's, it's you, isn't it? Yep. Where the hell is he? We can't wait any longer, yo. What's holding him up? He won't even answer his freaking phone. Psh, at this rate, I'd be quicker to just find some random guy on the street and have him hang out with us. I'm with you, man. He's gotta be at least good-looking as us. Hopefully even more so. Let's see, good-looking. How about that guy? Hmm? No way, that dude looks way too good. Did you forget the whole point of this party? Well, you said good looking, so are you two talking about me? Um, well, uh, the thing is, haha, the truth is, we're on our way to a mixer and one of the guys didn't show, so we're looking for someone else to go in his place. A mixer? You mean one of those group day parties? Yeah. Friend here is the one who arranged everything. There's supposed to be three guys and three girls, but now we're short one guy. Well, I'm a five star man, so it's all good. Yeah, so what's up? You, uh, what am I joining us, would you? Me? Yeah, all you gotta do is come chow down and knock back some bruises with us for a couple hours. Everything's totally, uh, on us. Heck, we'll even slip you some extra cash. Are you sure? I thought you said he was too good looking. Dude, who cares? We're out of time here. We have no other choice. So how about it, man? Down to mix it up? Oh, absolutely. It's not like, you know, a woman was just stolen and possibly getting molested. I guess there's a worse way to kill time. Alright, fine. I'll tag along. For real, wow, thanks man. Well, we're running out of time, so let me explain real quick. I'm Yusuke, and I arranged this guy together. This here is Naoa, and the guy who flaked on us is a total bitch, is Ryota. <laughs> oh, mind if we ask your name? Sure, it's uh, Masayoshi Tanimura. Masayoshi Tanimura-san, all right then. The only thing is we already told the girls our names, and I think it'd be kind of awkward trying to change them on right now, yeah, huh? Would you be cool if I was calling you Ryota at the party? It might be a little confusing, but I guess I can handle that. Yusuke, aren't you gonna tell him? About what? 
about not hooking up with that Kino Chan, of course. Whoa, hey, dude, that's not even what I. Look, forget about a Kino Chan. We're just here to have fun, alright? Bullshit, we are. What are you gonna do if this guy uh, in that Kino Chan hit it off? It could happen, you know? Yeah, you're right, man. Just picturing my head makes me feel depressed. The particular girl you're after? Yeah, that's actually the whole point of this little mix today. Oh, okay, I get it now. You think you can help you so you can't get close to that Kino Chan? That son of a bitch is super desperate, so I'm sure he'll return the favor somehow, even if everything works out. Come on, CK. Don't make me do all the talking. Please help a brother out. Uh, how can I say no to that? All right. So tell me about this girl, Akino. She's the organizer of the girl's side. She's really outspoken, but she has qu her quirks, too. She says she hates strong, smiling, sm smelling food, but she really likes garlicky gyoza, and she likes sweet cocktails, but gets tipsy pretty quick. But if you try to be nice and get her a soft drink, she'll be pretty much tree off your head. Okay, what about the other two? Oh, their names are Haruka-chan. Haruka-chan! <laughs> Kanuta-chan, but this is the first time we're meeting them, so who knows? I'll please... For the love of God. Turns to you, they're one of them. Feel free to have at it. What? You're not interested? Me? Nah, I already have a girl I like. I'll be happy as long as things go up for my boy Yusuke. What a wingman. Hey, thanks, man. Okay. It's almost time. We need to act like we're all buddy buddy now. One one team, one dream. Feel me? We're counting on you, Ryota. Sure. Hey, this one's this one this is one of them? Hey guys. Oh, and uh, Akino. It's been a while. Sure has. Well it looks like they're all here. Thanks for setting this up on the guy's side. Sure thing. Are the other friends on their way? Hmm. Oh, Haruka and uh, Kanutsu are already waiting at the restaurant. I just took the liberty to pick you guys up. They're always on top of things, Akino-chan. Ha, you know me well, shall we? Oh my god, the music stopped. My ears. Cheers! Okay, so let's all introduce ourselves. Who goes first? Well, I'm seeing as I'm the one who organized the whole thing. I might as well start things off. My name is Yusuke, and I work in sales in a pretty company. Kino and I were in the same club together at college. Every now and then we'll go. We'll get together for some drinks. And guess what? I'm trying to say is okay. Okay, Yusuke. Thank you for the lovely introduction. My turn now. I'm Naoa, and I'm known Yusuke since we were little. I just can't seem to get rid of the guy. The moment I'm sort of uh, what you call un, un, uh, un, underemployed, but don't worry. I promise I'm gonna kind of free to load and slacker. All right, you're up, brother. Oh, uh, right, uh, Ryota. I'm Ryota, I went to high school with these characters. Yeah, what he said. We sort of bumped into each other the other day, and he told me he was single. I guess my boy's ready to hang and, uh, and ready to bang. Uh, I mean, uh, make make a bang, that is. Well, I never would have guessed uh, you were single. Waste, uh, waste of hotness if you ask me. Oh, she's into it. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, totally. Guy's as hot as a brick oven. Makes me wonder why he hasn't had a girlfriend in years. Know what I mean, Ayo? I do. Maybe it's because he's got a secret side, deep down issues, literal skeletons in the closet. Come on, Ryota, don't look at me like that. Relax, I'm just yanking your chain. Man, it's how close friends who clearly go way back joke around. Keep it up, Tanimura. You're doing great. All right, that wraps with the boys. Girls, you're up. Hey, who put you in charge? Now, now, no bickering, boys. Let's start things off. I arranged this little mixer on the girl side. My name's Akino. Work in a, a restaurant in the Millennial Tower. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Akino. I'm Haruko, well, at least it's not the one. I think it was a Haruka is her name, not Haruko. I, mean, I usually work late nights as a nurse, so I'm looking forward to having some fun today. Oh, a nurse, that sounds like a tough job. Your turn, Kanuto. All right, okay, uh, I'm uh, Kanuto. Akino chan invited me out tonight. Uh, I'm glad to be here. What do you do for work, Kanuto chan? Huh? Oh, I work part time at a bookstore, yeah. Oh, snap, you're a part timer? That's pretty much what I am. Yeah, a part time uh, worker and a full time flake. Sorry about this guy, <laughs> Kanuto chan. He kind of gets carried away sometimes. Oh, that's no problem. Well, alright, now that we got that taken care of, let's get some food. Who's hungry? Anything you recommend, Ryota kun? Leave that up to Yusuke. You know, I'm so excited at times like these. You can say, why don't you pick something for us, right? How about something filling the mouthwater? I don't know. We should get some pan fried gyoza. Oh, great choice, Yusuke. Aside from the garlicky smell, I could really eat those all day. Thanks for the assistance, Tanner Morrison. Yeah, no problem, buddy. I got you. I got you all day. Got you all day, buddy. Oh, we're bevved up now. All right. So the other day, Yusuke was at work, and this girl totally asked him out. Shut up, Naoa. We don't have to talk about that here. Why well, not? I want to hear more. Yeah, you can't just end a story because when it gets to the juicy stuff. Apparently, this girl is real old, uh, old school about it. She left a love letter in his desk. Oh, that is pretty old fashioned. Nobody does that kind of thing anymore, except maybe Kanuto. Hey, Haruka chan, come on. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that. Last time I checked, a girl's allowed to confess her love, uh, shyly, right? Anyways, what do you do after you get the letter, Yusuke Kun? Well, here's the part where Yusuke highlights just how much of a gentleman he really is. He decided to handwrite uh, her uh, letter back, and boy, he did uh, Did he keep messing up. He even made me go buy more paper for him, and he works at a printing company. People there should be, lo uh, there should be loads there. Amazing. So what do you write back? Let me guess. It was a rejection letter, right? 
Okay, so this is where it gets good. I thought he was just put something simple, like, nope, not necessary, but he went and said, I'm sorry, but I'm currently into someone else. Wow, he went through all the trouble. Enough about this, let's change the subject. <laughs> um, you know, hmm, I think that was a wonderful thing to do, Yusuke-san, clearing things up for her like that. I'm sure she understands your feelings, they're quite sincere, this girl likes them. Oh, thanks, I honestly didn't think much of it at the time, but I appreciate the compliment all the same, huh? I, mean, I meant it. Oh, con uh, Kanatsu, are you into Yusuke-kun? Huh, no, no, well, I mean, I'm not saying I don't like him, uh, damn it, Haruko. Come on, Haruko, don't put her on the spot like that, go easy on the girl. You know what? kanutsu chan you're adorable, isn't she, Ryota? Akino's cute too. Haruka's got a great personality. <laughs> well, Haruka san is a great conversationalist and she has an awesome personality. Wow, Ryota, I didn't know you were after Haruka chan. Hee <laughs> hee. Hmm, so Ruka's more your type, Ryota kun. Guess Ryota is more outspoken than he looks. How about you, Yusuke? What's your take, huh? Um, I think everyone here is great. Yeah, come on, Yusuke. Are you hiding something? No, not at all. Yusuke did tell me how, uh, how cute he thought you were the other day when you guys bumped into each other again. Wait, what? Yeah, right, Nayokan. I already know Yusuke's not into me. Nice try, though. To be honest, that's not exactly true. Uh, well, just like Nayo said, I've been noticing how cute you are lately. Lately? <laughs> what? No way. I've never would have expected to hear something like that from you, Yusuke, but thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. Oh, by the way, I guess I should have asked this earlier, but you guys are still single, right? Yeah, I only invite, uh, invited single guys to get, to get together. Haha, <laughs> I bet uh, I wasn't even considered most of his friends are starting to settle down. You're single too, you know? Uh, true enough, but there's already a girl I have my eyes on. Not that I stand a chance. What? Oh, stop being so negative today. Is your chance uh, to forget about all that? That's right, and look, our glasses are almost empty. Let's order another round. Shouldn't you be taking it easy on the drinks, Akino? What's your problem, Yusuke? Are you trying to say I drink too much? No, that's not what I meant. Throw Yusuke a lifeline. No, why not? Don't worry, Yusuke, we're all having fun. How about you go order some more drinks for us? Oh, for sure. Okay, then what will it be? I recommend cocktails. What about Yuzu Honey Sours? Oh yeah, that sounds good. Hey, Kino, I hope you love Yuzu Honey Sours. That's exactly what I was thinking. How did you know? You're awesome, Yusuke. Look at that fucking... Just, just killing it, bud. Just killing it. She looks like she's had a lot of drink. I haven't uh, drunk this much in forever. Yeah, that was fun. I think I might have overdone it just a bit. Hey, Kino, are you alright? Dang, she looks pretty slosh. What should we do? We take care of you, Yusuke. Don't be a pervert, eh? You know where she lives, right? How about you make sure she gets some of me? Really? That would be super. I'll see Kanatsu home. Thanks, Yusuke Kong. Well, everyone, stay was fun. Thanks for coming out. Come on, Akino, let's go. Uh, um, Yusuke, where are we going? I'm taking you, your drunk self home, of course. What? But the night's still young. Let's go somewhere fun. Well, I guess we could do that. You guys go. Ryota and I are going to call it a day here. Yeah, you two have fun. Uh, thanks, guys. I owe you one. Girl looks like she's about to pass out, man. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, I'd say that went over pretty damn good. That it did, that it did. Honestly, I didn't think I'd get, uh, it'd go this well. I was really thanks to you, Ryo. I mean, Tenemora san. I guess we'll see. This is just the beginning of those two. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you're right. It's all up to your boy Yusuke now. It's not much, but here, thank you for everything you did. 50,000? That's a lot, dude. Are you sure? I don't know if I feel right except money from this. Ah, don't take it all. Uh, don't take it like that. Besides, I'll make sure I'll get it back from Yusuke later. I know he appreciates your help. You really got his back, don't you? Well, like I said, He's like a bad habit, I just can't break. So what's a friend supposed to do? Alright, I'm heading home. Cool, be safe out there. Thanks again, man. Boy's got no job and just drops 50000 $50, dollars on me. I love that. Alright, let's get to a taxi and uh get to the docks. Where we need to go save someone's life, most likely. Shibata family, we just go straight into a fight. Shit, I gotta get her back in one piece. Time to burn through these guys. Oh yeah. You know me. Just gonna fucking fight my way through a billion people. Oh, what a counter. That was some proper timing. I really wish it actually did something instead of just countering the move. It would have been cool if it fucking, uh, like, uh, you know, like, combo breakered him or something. Give me your bat, sir. I could really use it. It'd be really helpful. Thank you. I missed. There you go. Batter up. Take him out by the knees and smack him in the face. Can't believe I didn't do more damage. I also realized I'm bevved up still, so that's hilarious. I need you to get up, sir. 
big charge bat attack. This guy's got a lot of fucking health, man. Crazy amounts. Just trying, just trying to take him down. I don't know if my damage is less because I'm drunk. I figured it'd be more, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, will you stop stabbing me, <laughs> fucking guy? Drop kick. Oh, I broke his guard, but I didn't break his. Oh, there you go. What's up, punk boy? You gonna run away from me? Yeah, you are. Where, where the fuck? See ya. <laughs> I don't know where the area is that he went to. I'm gonna go pick this up. Little health. I'm assuming. I thought it was this way. Oh, it's this way. Right, here we go. Hello? Oh, he's in a truck. Good thing I pressed Y, or that probably would have been death. Just a truck full of guys. Why are you dressed like the Joker? I just realized that's what he looks like. Alright. Oh, I don't want to stab you. I wanted to stab this guy. Words I never thought I'd say. <laughs> I didn't want to stab you. I wanted to stab this guy. Get the fuck off me. Ow. Oh, nice leg sweep takedown. And not the, not the heaviest hitter, that's for sure. Doing my best, though. Leg sweep, drop kick that guy, another level up, drop kick this guy, missed him, embarrassing, pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta watch my health. It's getting a little, getting a little low for my liking. No, oh, no, he's on the ground. Get him now, oh, bitch. I'm not gonna waste it now because he's almost dead. I'll keep him for the next fight. I'm sure he's gonna run away one more time here. Maybe not. Hmm. I figured there was gonna be a cutscene. Did I break the game? I certainly hope not. Boy just disappeared. Guess we'll just go this way and hope for the best. Okay, good. Watch out for the lumber. I pressed Y instead of A. Thankfully, it didn't kill me. I'm gonna heal. I'm also gonna level up my abilities. Why not? Phoenix Spirit. Yeah, why not? And let's drink one of these. Just to be on the safe side. I don't know what's coming around the corner, right? Could be bad news bears. Nice boots, man. Pretty, pretty cool looking boots, I must say. <laughs> Just fight him off and damage that dude. That's hilarious. These guys are mad weak, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, you're still alive. I thought you were dead. Bye, Kondo. Uh. Uh, grab that. Assuming there's gonna be another quick time event coming up here. It'll light me on fire. Wait a little drumming. Donkey Kong. Yep. Here comes the blaze. Or not. Alright. I just assumed someone was gonna light this on fire, but I guess not. Maybe it's just it's harder to be a fighter? No, I don't know what the point of the whale is. Oh, yep, yep, that's exactly what happens. You slip. Okay, that's what I figured was gonna happen. Alright. Why do they- oh, okay, because they're wearing rubber boots or something that helps them stay up. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. I'm leveling up like crazy off this fight. Oh my god, I'm just trying to walk. I like how I can throw punches, but I can't walk. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> and it does damage, you know what? Of course I miss. Oh my god. Is there a walk? It's a left bumper? Right bumper? I'm just gonna die from the oil, because I can't fucking walk? There you go. There you go. 
going to heal again or also upgrade. Why not? Uh, Golden Dragon Spirit. I'll do twos. Uh, Enhanced Throw Impact. There you go. And... Needs Heat. What does this do? I don't know what it does. Restores health quite a bit. There we go. That's better. And I slip and fall. <sighs> you gotta hold right bumper just to walk on this. There's the match. I knew it was gonna come eventually. By match, I mean lighter. You're gonna want to get out of that. This is how I die. The game just ends. Just immediate death. Burned alive. Burned to a crisp. You guys want some fuck? Baba. Not the giant Baba, but just Baba. Alright, beat up this wooden door. Got another crowbar over here, might as well use it. More goons. So many goons, dude. Too many, if you ask me. You have a gun? And you're cowarding? You have, a, like, a Mac? What the fuck? Your decision. You didn't drop it for me. That's even more annoying. <laughs> more lumber. Not this time. Maybe be pretty strong to push all that. Alright, big boys. And the guys with guns, the guy with the sword. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Who's who's got the most health? I'm gonna get rid of this guy with a gun. I don't want him around. Ow, ow. Ow. Oh, okay. Didn't really managed to do that. I was trying to do my main attack, but whatever. This guy with the sword's a pain in the ass. Let's do a leg sweep. Of course I missed everybody. Got the sword knees out of the gun knees to get out of here because he's gonna just take pop shots at me. It's gonna be fucking annoying. I thought I caught the bullet for a second. Feel the heat, baby. Well, that guy's dead. That guy's dead as shit. So is that guy. All right, well let's sped that up at least. He's still alive, dude. You just got shot in the back like six times. What the fuck? <laughs> Boy, just no selling bullets. There you go. Get out of here. How are you still alive? Is gonna be another feel the heat moment? Nope, he's dead. Give me your sword. Let's slice and dice everyone. Get up. There you go. Holy moly. That was ridiculous, to say the least. To say the least. Just gonna just be in a perv. Spying. Seems like everything's going, going quite smoothly. Except for, you know, the guy that just came in here and killed everyone. Simply lay low for a while and wait till the storm blows over. Then things can proceed. Got that all right? Understood. Ooh. The sixth chairman will never suspect we're hiding you here. Quite the bargain for just one finger, wouldn't you say? Hmm. You mean this little char charade of yours? Nice touch. I'm mean, meeting with uh, Katsu uh, Katsuragi tomorrow afternoon to work out the finer details of the truce. I see. And the location? Kamarucha, some, uh, some place called Cafe Alps. Hmm. But is Kamarucha really the right place to hold the meeting? So, in the open? Tojo headquarters could easily discover the link between you two. It's fine. Katsurage and I have a perfectly good reason for being seen together. If anything, people will assume I'm offering a further apology, or at least I can spin it that way. Of course, hmm. But I do see why it might worry you, especially with this woman and the unexpected headache she's caused. You know, it's a strange feeling having the one response for all this chaos sitting right here in front of me. Where are you singling out Shibata family men? Or why are you, I should say. I don't have a choice. I thought I never managed to get the 100 million. Hmm? 
What kind of nonsense are you babbling? You know? You're a pretty little thing. Easily enough to make a man fall right into your trap. Let's put this to rest, Patriarch Shibata. I already know she's responsible for spilling your family's blood. I say we return the favor. Be glad to handle it myself. There's no rush. Sir? I'm curious. What could have prompted this woman to kill my men in cold blood? And one more thing. Titties. She clearly has a way with her body. I'd like to get a taste for myself. What a fucking creep. Oh, fucking hell. A boy got shot. Night night. Yeah, I saw that coming. You outlived your purpose. What are you doing, Arai? Don't burst a vessel over it. This is always part of the plan. Her job isn't finished yet. Or should I say, we still need her. We? You heard right. Myself and Katsuragi-san, in addition to our handful of collabora collaborators. What? When did you flip the Katsus Katsuragi? <laughs> yeah, but I'll wrong about it, son. I've been at his camp from the very beginning. Night, night. Are you still alive? <laughs> I'll tell you, this is your final moments. The incident 25 years ago? You said that all up with Katsuragi san. Correct? You agreed to help him so you could secure a better position within the Tojo clan. But time and time again, you've used the truth as levers to extort favors. As far as Katsuragi san is concerned, you're nothing but dead weight. Goodbye. Please, drop your weapon. And you should probably shoot first, ask questions later. Could have easily shot him in the hand, you know? <laughs> Just saying. Hey, hang in there. I doubt it. Are you really the one who planned the hit on Yoshiharu Uno? Yoshiharu Uno. What really happened back in 85? Answer me! He dead. Hey, Shibata, I want answers! I don't think he's answering you, bro. Damn! <laughs> God damn it. Yep. I think that's gonna be the end of this chapter. Be my guess. Yep. Well, things are starting to get spicy in this game, so hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to leave a like, tell me what you thought. And as always, share the great gospel here with Call Me, and I'll catch you next week with more.